calm demeanor or they need to get after it. That's kind of the idea as we look at this lineup for the Yankees presented by Toyota. And it begins with Anthony Rizzo in the leadoff spot. Judge follows him along with Stanton, who will be out in left field. You see the start for Stanton uh, in left field. He has not started there in quite a while at home. First time since August 3rd, by the way, that Rizzo is batting leadoff. So as you take a look at that lineup again with Cabrera at the bottom, what are your thoughts? Well, my initial thoughts were when I saw that lineup come out, came out, I, it, I raised my eyebrows a little bit because Rizzo's leading off. I understand what the Yankees are trying to do. Rizzo has been one of their best hitters during the postseason. During the whole season, you want to get him up to the plate. You want to set the tone. You want another lefty in there. I understand all that. But I always go back to a player's perspective. You walk into that clubhouse this afternoon, you're not sure who your leadoff hitter is. You're not sure who your shortstop is going to be. And then you see Stanton playing left field. Yes, he did that in Houston with the short left field. Now he's playing left field in the spacious left field at Yankee Stadium. So there's a level of uncertainty is probably the best word, Jack. And as Bob said, first time for Stanton in the outfield, left field at Yankee Stadium since September of 2019. But we talked about this on our show Thursday night, and I said I thought that Carpenter would be back in there because you want that lefty bat at the stadium. I waffled yesterday on Twitter, and then I restored myself this morning on Twitter. And Michael, I just think as bad as Carpenter has looked, and I know the stats, 0 for 7, 7 strikeouts, isn't picking up the spin on breaking pitches. I look at what he has done at the stadium, and that is why I think he's out there. 63 plate appearances. He's got a slugging percentage of almost 1,100. Not an OPS, a slugging percentage. So I think for a team that is starved for offense, the Yankees are saying, hey, Matt Carpenter, give us one big swing. Well, listen, you can sit back and you can, you can really dig into this lineup and criticize it. But if you want to do that, what you have to do is take a look at what they have on the bench. This is a team that's compromised. No DJ LeMay who hurts them. No Benintendi hurts them. No excuses, though, in October. You got to play through it. The Astros don't have Brantley. But... They they're taking a lot of chances with this. Putting Stanton in left field is a gigantic gamble. Gigantic. And they're betting on Matt Carpenter erasing two and a half months of rust. He has not been able to do that over the first couple of games that he's played. One start, the other pinch hit appearances, seven straight strikeouts. So they're hoping, hoping that he could find it. There's a lot of hope in this lineup. It's hard to criticize because who did they leave out? But there's a lot of hope, and they're riding all of that hope. This lineup is the way it is just to get Matt Carpenter in there. Yeah, when I look at the lineup defensively with Stanton in left field, Cabrera at shortstop, this goes back to Garrett Cole being out on the mound. He's a strikeout pitcher where you're going to try to eliminate some of the uh, defensive liabilities that Stanton might have in left field, Cabrera might have at shortstop. But I kind of like the Carpenter in there again, as bad as he looked, Michael. And from a playing perspective, when you don't get live at bats for a couple of months you are going to be rusty but he's looking for one swing he's not looking for four quality at bats probably the Yankees thinking the same thing toward the end of the season I was interviewing Jason Varitek the former Red Sox catcher who is obviously now one of their coaches so just like Flash this is a guy who was intimately involved in designing game plans and unsolicited he said to me is Carpenter going to be back in the postseason for the Yankees? And I said, they're hoping on it. It's a foot injury. They're hoping that he can get back there and contribute. And Varitek said, he's the kind of guy who can have long at-bats. He's the kind of guy who can be productive in October. He hasn't been. I get it. But I think this is the best option for the Yankees today. It's probably the only option because they need left-handed bats in the lineup. But again, you're hoping that you could turn back the clock to July. I mean, how likely is that? So far, it hasn't been likely. Maybe these games and these at-bats that he's had where he struck out, He's, he's zoning in a little bit more. Again, big roll of the dice. All right.